Hey guys, how's it going? Brad here, and we're continuing with Battle for Azeroth, specifically Rise of Ashara, and I'm on my Horde Hunter, and we're in Najdatar. And there's a whole bunch of world quests up right now, including, uh, looks like all these factions. Wow, they're giving me... Okay, so there's meta world quest achievements, but it's in the main continent, not on this island. I'm not going to do those in the video. However, one, one of the armor caches for the meta, complete four world quests of a specific faction, one is a level 400 item, it's random. Another one is a level 410 item, and another one's level 410 items. So there's three different factions I can go after that will give me 410 items and a 400 item. Probably should do those, because I might get an upgrade to like my trinkets or my rings. But uh, I'm not going to do this in this video, because I want to focus on Rustbolt, on uh, Mechagon, and on Najdatar. So I'm just picking these uh, requisition and bounty quests. These are the same ones that... We pretty much get it every other day. I think they're based on the minion you grab, but not necessarily, it seems. But uh, that's okay. Like, they're fun to do anyway. One's like, kill five elites. Okay, fine. I could kill five elites. Not a big deal. I just love seeing the dots all over the map. I have this... I, I, I have this thing where I just... I love clearing a map. Like, even when I have quests all over a map, I have to clear them. And I just get this intense feeling of satisfaction when everything is cleared off a map. I won't clear this boss because a lot of people aren't doing him anymore. There's the serpent bosses up again. This boss is up again. The uh, Wekamara. I don't know why he keeps popping up. He's popping up a lot. Slay it before it can reach our encampment. He's popping up a lot. That's the fourth or fourth time he's been no up, I think. Surprise. Don't let the Naga have any advantage. Okay, so this is collecting supplies. I know where they all are. So they pop up in the exact same spot. So it's easy to grab them. And they're shared, so I don't have to worry about other people taking the chests. Once you do it a few times, you know exactly where the chests are. I pretty much have the optimal path to get the exact number I need. I'm sure there aren't other chests around, I just, this is the path I always follow. Okay, so the Alliance base is right here, but luckily I'm not close enough to get attacked by them. The Horde base, you can get close enough to be attacked, and Shara you aggro. The seas since the days when my shell was shiny. You, uh... Someone stood up to her. Oh yeah, plug the geysers? Okay, that's an easy quest, so I'll, I'll start on the right and work my way left. Usually I start on the left and work my way clockwise. I'll go the opposite direction this time. Oh, Aldrentis is up. Oh, and I just hit on my uh, Horde Warlock, who's my lead character. That's that w I'm running ahead of this guy. Um, basically, he gets everything before this guy does kind of thing. Um, I just got exalted as of tonight. I got exalted with both the Unshackled, on, which is on the Horde side, it's in this continent, and uh, or on this island, and the Rustbolt Rebellion I also have exalted with. So I don't have it on this guy, I have it on my Warlock. Earth Elemental should pop up once I get to, I think, the last one or the second last one? Yeah, the last one. There he is. Oh, he dropped a helm. Benthic helm. I've been upgrading my gear, so I just, I keep giving the gear I get as drops here to my other characters who are still leveling up. So when they hit uh, 
when they hit 120, I can just equip them with the gear right away. Do you need anything? No one left behind. So I do have multiple characters. Uh, I have been asked, like, are are your hunters the only ones you level up and stuff like that? Because those are the only ones I show on video. Well, that's no. I always have my warlock and my hunter side by side. My warlock is basically my my mage tank kind of thing, my caster tank. Scroll. Okay, so in the last video we did, uh, just so I don't forget, we met this guy. So I grabbed a bunch of quests from this guy, and one of them is I have to test these scrolls for bursting power, and I have to witness three memories. So I'm going to go and check the memories first. If you watched my Alliance videos, I think I did this on the Alliance side. And I think the quest is almost identical. If Yeah, it's identical. It should be identical. Ashara has requested that I formulate new creations. The Wolves of the North may prove to be suitable hosts. Although I worry about creations we cannot control. Uh, somewhere over here. Gotta be careful, these flying guys also aggro. Okay, there's another memory. I think it's in this... No, it's not in this building. Am I in the building? Oh. No, it looks like it's... Looks like it's in the building. That's weird. Oh, no, it's not. I have to defeat Chomp. I don't see Chomp. There's the memory module right there. But there's guys here, so... Nice to meet you, General Huzzar. Silence, mage. I am here for results, not pleasantries. Now, I was told you had created something called a Snapdragon? Ashar has shown keen interest in this development. Um, of course, right this way. Okay, see, they created these. Okay, uh, where's the third memory? I have to use scrolls of power, but I have to find the third memory. But I'm being attacked in the air from these manta rays. This one particular area, it is much better to fly. They're all over here. They fly low, too. Damn them. I'm looking for the last... Where is it? Is that it over there? No, that's Chomp. No, the memory pylon's right there. <laughs> Students, round up as many... Uh, what is that? Students, round up as many local wolves as you can at once. Ashara's advisor will be visiting soon. Make haste and she will, or she will have our heads. Okay, so now I gotta use the scroll of bursting. Okay, 
Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I have to do it on Terror Maws. These guys are brutal. Oh, but then I gotta fight him. That's no fair. I remember this quest now. I remember complaining about how, why do I have to fight them after I use this? It should just auto-kill them. <laughs> but it's okay. It's forcing me to fight three elites. This guy next. Before we get aggro. Alright. I believe we should trade with people of all races. Let me see what you got. Collector Kojo reads the notes slowly. I think we may have just found the origin of Snapdragons. Let's see what else we can learn. Wow, that powerful, huh? I'll be sure to keep this with me then. From the looks of it, Aler Alerna's story should be a very interesting should have a very interesting end this pylon here was has been acting up but i think i know why these things are using memory cores little crystals found within the center of the orb i bet there's one in that old magi tower there's a snapdragon that's bigger than the terror maws in there uh in there so here keep the scroll for now it should help you in your fight she's a big one hmm. Artifacts of great power belong in the hands of elders. Oh, this guy. Or girl, I guess. Here we go. This one's mine. So usually when you don't have flying, you have to fight through a bunch of snapdragons to get there. But I can get there much easier, thankfully. What are your hero rates? Show me. Yes, of course. I think Ashara will be very pleased with your with what you report. Enough talking. Do you dare waste the Queen's time? So she was betrayed by that general. He probably proceeded to take all the credit himself. Uh, very impressive indeed. I assume you have kept notes on your research? That would be correct, General. Good. Ugh. After she did all that work, he murdered her. Unbelievable. If you find powerful artifacts, bring them to me. So that's her story. Alright. So we completed that part of the story. Was there anything else I missed? I don't th think so. I think I got everything with this guy. Sometimes there's like a random quest just sitting out and I sometimes, if I'm recording um, and I'm following a main storyline, I'll avoid that extra quest until I'm done with the main story. But I think I got everything. You're waiting for a welcome, Matt? Okay, so now we have to go after these guys, who if I don't kill them fast enough, will do a high pitched scream that causes me to run in fear. Not such a big deal on my hunter, but on my warlock with my uh, pet. My pet has an AoE taunt, and when I get feared, if I don't turn the AoE taunt off, it will fear everything my pet runs into, and <laughs> I've done that quite a few times. 
so I try to be careful about it now. So we're right at the wall of the zone right now. There's like this giant water wall. There were a lot of players here earlier. Now, not so many. Good for me, I can kill these guys a lot faster. I don't have to deal with competition. Hey, I didn't get feared. <laughs> mean to attack her. Darn, there's an alliance character here, which means they're going to start aggroing or stealing these kills. Well, not stealing them. I, I can't get credit if they attack at first, and they can't get credit if I attack first. I want to get my quest done. Alright, so the Eye of Glurog, or Glur... Glurthog. Uh, he's an elite. He's right down here, though. I was hoping I'd get lucky and there would be another player fighting him, but apparently not. Oh yeah, I forgot. He has a fear as well. caught by it. I thought I was just on the edge of the Fury AoE. But I was not. Most people avoid this guy because he is pretty tough. He's got like a very tanky HP. But I can handle him now. I'm geared well enough. First time I tried to fight this guy on my Warlock, he didn't kill me. But I had to run away, because he killed my pet. I think it was on my Warlock. Yeah, it was on my Warlock. He killed my pet. Killed my Warlock, uh, Voidwalker. Your refusal to bend the knee offends my loyal Get out of here. There we go. <laughs> so dramatic. I just, uh, I do the feign death largely to just get out of combat. That's my biggest thing. Okay, there is a chest over here. So this is the puzzle quest to do orange this time. I think it said orange. Yeah, it's orange. So it's the runes with the N on them. It looks like an N.
Alright. Oh, if I can get that one down, I could do five across. Is there any way I could do it? Uh, no, it'll end up moving it. I guess it didn't matter. I just needed one more anyway. Alright, uh, I've already killed one elite. So I just need to kill four more. Uh, the easiest place to do that is over, ooh, is over here. I love coming right here to kill elites. Oh no, somebody's already doing it. This could speed up my progress. Wow, it's a druid in tree form. I guess he was trying to heal himself to stay alive. Well, if he's not going to come along, I'm just going to fight him on my own. guys were extremely dangerous when I first fought them. Uh, not so bad now, because I know how they fight. But boy oh boy were these guys dangerous when I first came here. I definitely died here multiple times. On my Warlock too. And I almost never die on my Warlock. On my Hunter, I die a little more often on my Hunter. <laughs> When she puts that shield up, if you're trying to attack her through the shield, I don't think she takes any damage. I think she's immune when that shield's up on the side facing you. Let's see, there's three poisonous leaves. Too much good, would it? I forgot to check the uh, the zone I was just in where I fought uh, Garthog or whatever his name was. There is a bunch of uh, poisonous leaves there. That's usually the best place to get them, actually. Most people don't look for them there. So I'll just fly over really quick and see if I can grab some. There's usually one there. It's gone. Ah, there's one. Oh my god, I only have one of three. Oh, there's another one. Two. Yeah, I just need one more. So I'll keep looking as I do my quests for them. But the poisonous leaf, this is the best place to find them. Is down in the Snaga area. Alright, um we have to kill 25 Murlocs, uh 21 yellow runes. And I've got a ally quest here as well. Uh, is this the underwater quest? I'm not sure. 
Oh, it's the chest. Okay, so I have to kill Naga to find the key. Um, I did this uh, just before on my Warlock the last time. I think yesterday or the day before? I think it was yesterday. And I got the key in my third kill. But I think I recorded this once before where I was killing tons of Naga before I finally got it. So it varies wildly. Maybe I'll get lucky again, and I'll get it all like one of these guys will have it. Nope. <laughs> well, I thought I would be lucky. <laughs> fighting all these guys here. No, nope, I'm not gonna take part in that. It is an alliance character. Oh, there's the third poisonous leaf. Done. No! Oh, I shot at him not realizing that. He was elite. Got it. That did not take long at all. I sometimes do run through the zone, like I won't fly, uh, just for the fun of it. When I'm recording, I like getting around faster because I can do a lot more if I'm flying. All right. Just south of us, we have yellow runes and it'll give us shoulder pads. Benthic shoulder pads. Alright, so 21 yellow runes. It's just like a mobile game, which is kind of cool. Let's see... Yellow runes. No. Oh, yes. That will work. There we go. Oh, that was a nice combo right there. Totally unintentional. All oh, that. Total skill. Total skill. I meant to do that. Absolutely meant to do that. <laughs> I'm so lying. Is my pet being attacked? I don't think so. Even if my pet's being attacked, I can keep him alive while... No, I've killed five elites. I don't need to fight her. Let's move on. Okay, so I need to do Murlocs. I need to kill a... Not a general, but a Zangir Brutalizer. Oh, it's this one. I think I'll stay in the air. So this thing will auto-fire. It's the Javelin of the Sea. 
I haven't really gauged, gauged what the range is on it. Because it seems to fire quite a bit. Let's see, so it'll fire even there. So I keep moving back trying to gauge this. I've had to fight uh, a few different bosses on this one spot. So this artillery spear gun keeps firing, but I haven't quite gauged how far you need to be away from it. You can just stand behind it. But there's Naga behind it usually, so I tend to stay on this side. Which is why they intentionally pointed it this way. It's the only safe place to really stand waiting for the boss. Okay. My subjects seek to earn my favor by collecting your hand. Who am I to refuse their loyalty? Spear. Yes, attack someone else. Wait, can you attack the spear? No, you can't. I fired my dual arrow and it went after the spear, but I can't target it. Do you see that? My spear split. And one shot went and hit the hit the spear gun, but I can't target the spear gun. is nothing. You will kneel and I will rule. I think she's got like a superiority complex. Just a thought. Alright, we've got another geyser quest. But this one's slightly different because I believe... Oh yeah, it is. So this one, I have to go after shell guys. after these little crawlers. Wow, I'm not having any luck already. So it's not a low drop rate, but it's... It's like, it's not a high yield drop rate, but it's not super low either. It's better to fight the big guys. You tend to get the shells. Why am I suddenly being... Oh, I see. I was like, why am I being attacked? She aggroed. So whoever that player was aggroed the Naga. But no, it was a uh, steam elemental that came up from the crevice that I just blocked. Oh, there's too many players here. It doesn't look like there's a lot of players, but I could tell by the lack of crawlers. Sometimes it'll pop you in the air, sometimes it won't. I should just attack the big guys. But they take so much longer to kill. It's easier fighting the small guys. Oh, that was a critter. So there's also little critters around here, but uh, they don't count.
Oh, that crap. No, don't go after him. Okay, this is taking pretty long. Uh, but we're running past 30 minutes already, and this is still going to take a while. There's still too many characters here doing this quest, and it's a really confined area to do it. So we're going to call it there, and we'll continue in the next videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for hanging in there to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you know when I post the next video. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.